Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a Junior World prediction for you. Um, the Junior Worlds will be from, from this Monday, February 27th, to this Friday, March 4th. The way count is right there. Um, and it will be held in a country that I don't know of, but that's okay. Um, just for the, those who care or don't know, um, the Junior World Championships is basically not is international competition for junior level skaters, but not by skill, but by age, because they have a whole new age limit rule. Whereas basically, you for, if, from your thirteen, um, you can compete internationally at junior level, so you can be in the junior grumpy circuit, junior worlds, whatever. But then you have to be fourteen to do the senior grand prix, and then you have to be fifteen by July first of the year before um, to um, to compete on the senior international level. This is because they don't want like little kids like getting to burn out before they're young, before they're getting before like they're too old. But then there's also the saying that they um, that people at their peak when they're so little, but they could compete on the, such a high stage, which was a big controversy. But not the point. I just went off track a lot, but. Um, in this cat, in this technic um, the junior world, it's basically you have to be thirteen and not yet nineteen, and the upper age limit for men is twenty one. If you are a pair or ice dancer, because a lot of like the pair boys or the dancer boys, they're like way older than their partners because it just helps when the girl grows and when they grow, it just bounces up the height levels because at the same age, it's a lot harder, especially in pairs, because the girl has to be like half the size of the dude for her to from the toss in the air. Um, and I mean they can and also doesn't mean that you're like not good to send a junior world, just that you're old enough you can still go there. Um, it's actually like it's actually kinda of funny because I was looking at the roster and they said that Dennis Ten, who is actually only eighteen, which I which is kinda of funny because I've seen him at the Olympics. I saw him at Worlds and then I'm like, oh true, he's only eighteen. He still qualifies for Junior Worlds. He's gonna like he's so like he let's just and he thinks he doesn't say like he's eighteen and he has so much more experience he's just like true he's still that young but it's just one of those funny things um after looking at the roster it's really hard to decide on who the peep on like who are gonna be the winners it, um pairs is basically decided but I'll get to that in a minute I'll start off with men we have. Like, the best way to look at who is a contender for the meddling is who has had an international experience. Who was on the Junior Grand Prix circuit, Junior Grand Prix final circuit. Um, and not even on the national level, if you're on the junior circuit. Or sometimes they, they do they compete on the senior international on the senior senior national level, but compete junior internationally because they're still little. Um, so for men, the predictions... Because after the Junior Grand Prix final, Jason Brown had won, and then silver medalist was Yan Han, and third place finisher was Joshua Ferris. So, but then also looking at the roster, Dennis Ten is also on this list, and he is a like he uh, competes in the Senior Grand Prix circuit. He goes to the Worlds, so I'm going to say that he will win Junior Worlds easily. First place, Dennis Ten in men's. Second place. I'm going to go with um, Jason Brown because yes, he did won the, the the circuit. As not to mention that I think if my memory serves me correctly, where is it? He also I think placed higher than Joshua Ferris at the U.S. Championships, and my computer is loading, so I'm going to find out to tell you the exact details. La 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 la. la. Yes, because Jason Brown was ninth at nationals, while Joshua Ferris was sixteenth. So, I'm going to say that number one, Dennis Ten. Number two, Jason Br Brown, and number three, I'm gonna have to go with Yan Han from China because he has a quad, he has a triple axel. His programs are okay, I guess, and he I think and I think he won the Winter Youth Olympics. So that is a lot of international experience right there. So that is my prediction for the men's. The ladies, on the other hand, is a little bit interesting because the the big medal contenders were the three Russian ladies, Elizaveta Tukamashiva, um, Adelina Sokinova, who had won last year, and Elizaveta was second last year, 
And the third one would have been Julia Lipitskaya, who basically blew away the crowd at the Grand Prix final and was took first. And last, she was part of the Russian sweep for the meddling. Um, let's see here. So, but then they were actually saying that Elizaveta Tishkomishiva actually withdrawed from World Juniors because next year she'll be 15 and she'll be old enough to compete at World because everyone was criticizing how she was so good when she was 13 but could not go to Senior World because of how little she was. And because she's only 13, like you have to be 15. Um, it's a really big deal about that. So, she's going to be 15 next year and they said that something about her triple axel is going to be trying to debut it. And she wants to prepare for a full season, so withdrawing early is good for her because now she has more off-season time to prepare. And also, she did a lot of competitions this year, so it's like I think it's a good choice. But I mean, I th I thought she could have if she did say she would have won. Like I think Adelina Sukanova, she had um, a growth spurt this year and wouldn't have necessarily um, beat Elizabeth like last year. But regardless, Polina Sheplin had replaced her for the roster. So I'm going to say for the first place finisher will probably have to be Adelina Sokinova again from Russia because she is so she is on she was on senior Grand Prix the circuit this year and she had and she medaled at both of her events. Um second place finisher will be Julia Lipitskaya because she won the junior Grand Prix final. Um she was the sec she was, was she the second she was on the senior level at Russian Nationals, and she was second to Adelina Sokin. No, Alina Leonova. Yeah, if my memory serves me correctly. But yes, so number one, Adelina Sokinova. Number two, Julia Lipeskaya. And number three, I'm going to have to go with Ji Jun Lee because she is. Because she is the two-time national champion in China. And I kind of see like a Unikim kind of thing. Because she, um, the China isn't really known for their ladies figure skating. They're more for pairs. So I could see her in a couple years like be a Unikim. Come out of nowhere. And just dominate it. But right now, just the Russian girls are just blowing her out of the way right now. But Russian, a lot of Russian um, girls, they tend to have really bad growth spurts. So we'll see in the future how what goes on. Um... But yes, that is my predictions for the for World Juniors for the ladies. Um, pairs. I would have to be lying if I didn't say that the first two um, Chinese pairs, Sai Wenjing, Tan Hong, and Yu Xiaoyu Xiao and Jin Yang from China would not take first and second place. But then again, there's also Captain Bobek and Ian Beharry. Who was who was second to Sui Wenjing and Han Tong from um, on the junior, on the junior Grand Prix final? So those are the pairs. And other people to look for would be Brittany Simpson and Matthew Blackmer from the United States, as well as the third Chinese pair. But I don't think they're in contention right now. So my predictions for pairs will be number one is Sui Wenjing and Han Tong. Number two will be Catherine Bobek and Imba Harry from Canada. And number three, it'll be Yu Xiaoyu and Jin Yang from China. And finally, for a dance, I actually do a lot, a lot of research for this because I wasn't familiar with a lot of the dance names here. Like, I saw some here and there, but, like, I haven't seen any of the big ones because right now ice dancing is just dominated by Team Canton. But looking at the list, um, what's your name again? Victoria Sintisina and Ruslan Zhiganshin. Um, they had won the Junior Grand Prix final and they are definite male contenders here. Other ones would be uh, the other two medalists at the Junior Grand Prix final, which would be Anna Yan Yanovskaya and Sergei. Moscow from Russia too, and then third place was Alexandra Stepanova and Ivan Bukin. So I'm going to have to say first place finishers are. Wait, I lost my page. Hold on. Wait, I don't remember their names, so it's like. Wait a second. Um. Okay, so number one is. 
um, Alec, no, I lied, Victoria, Cincinnati, and Ruslan Zhiganshin for number one. Number two will be Anna Yakinovskaya and Sergei Moskov because they also won the Youth Olympics. And third place finishers should be Alexander Stepanova and Ivan Bukin, who they were the junior army final bronze medalists. Guy, I really can't say much because I don't really know them that well, but I can just say from seeing how the Russians, the junior Russian dance teams, have been blowing out of everyone out of the ballpark at the Grand Prix final, it's kind of hard to say that those three will probably be on the podium. And they'll probably be maybe in different orders, but okay. Um, I also want to say some people that you should be looking out for. On the men's section, you want to be watching for the two little guys who are on, are on the roster. Canada's Nam Nguyen, as well as Japan's Shoma Uno. They're both like these tiny little kids who can do triples. And they're just adorable to, to watch. And they have great personalities. They're really like... They present so well on the ice, and they're like only 14, 13 years old. So those people are good to watch. It'll be, just, it'll be a show to watch those. Um, other ones to watch should be um, Arthur Dimitriev Jr. He had won the junior champion. He was a junior champion in 2011, and he was fifth at Russian Championships. And he does have a junior Grand Prix medal, but since he flopped in the second Grand Prix event... He didn't make it to the junior Grand Prix final. But it's still something you should look for. Ladies, you should be looking for Vanessa Lamb, Christina Gao, and Gracie Gold. Because Gracie Gold can do a triple-triple. Um, Vanessa Lamb, she was fifth on the junior Grand Prix final because the three Russian ladies just, like, killed it. And Ji Jin Lee had took fourth. So she was fifth. Christina Gao has been fifth three times at the U.S. Nationals, and she has Brian Orser, who will definitely be a good asset. And she can do a triple-triple. That is, from what I know, it's cl um, not under-rotated. So it's clean, and she has full points. And I'm pretty sure she even gets, like, bonus GOEs for that. Um, other people we should be looking for is Risa Soji from Japan. Um, but I don't think she had a very good season so far, but it might be some comebacks. Um, other pairs you should be watching will be um, Brittany Simpson, Matthew Blackmer, um, Kylie Dwart, and Colin Grafton from the United States. Not to mention Ekaterina Patakina and Maxim Kurdyukov from Russia. Um, and dance. I really can't say much. I don't know that well. I can say that I watched um, Nicole Orford and Thomas Williams in Canada, and they were pretty good. But that's all I can say for now. Um, and also for those of you who care enough to watch this, I have a schedule that I'm going to tell you about for when the World Games is on. Um, on Saturday, March 3rd, the pairs and the pairs free program and the free dance will be from 3 to 5 p.m. on CBC. Sunday, March 4th, it will be the men and ladies free skate at 4 and 6 p.m. and again at 12.30 2.30 a.m. Um... And on Vision TV, Monday, March 5th, we'll have the Pairs and Free, I mean the Pairs and Dance at 9 to 11 p.m. And Tuesday, March 6th, will be Men and Ladies Free Skate. And the Bold Network, which is like a CBC Bold, Wednesday, March 7th, Pairs and Dance from 12 to 2 a.m. And Thursday, March 8th, is the Men and Ladies Free Skate from 12 to 2 a.m. and 12.30 to 2.30 a.m. Which is kind of weird. But, yeah, so if you want to watch it like me and sleep in the middle of the night to go for it, then, like, let me know and we will sit together and, like, eat popcorn and watch this at, like, 4 a.m. at night. And otherwise, um, please subscribe. Let me know what you think. Comment below all the, f if you want to argue with me about metal contenders or whatever. But, yeah, see ya.